difficult enough. Now, Lindsay Sharp, who most people would have said would have been the favorite coming in here, actually doesn't have the qualifying mark in the uh, current window. She has run under 2-1, but it was in a mixed race, so it doesn't count. Alex Bell, under two minutes for the very first time in the BMC meeting uh, last month, is going to be a factor here, I'm pretty sure. Laura Muir will be the favorite, but Shalena oskan Clark, the defending champion, will want to make sure that she cements her place in the team. She has the qualifying mark. As indeed does Laura Muir, just outside her personal best earlier in the Diamond League season. And now with all of those exams behind her, concentrating on racing and by all accounts in fantastic form, and she certainly looked good in the heats last night. Hannah Seagrave, the Middlesbrough Mandale athlete based in the US, has run some uh, pretty good times there. And a new personal best this year, 2-2.52. And Vary Hendry from Victoria Park Club on the inside. Again, personal best this year, 2-3-0-6. So, Laura Muir, Shalena Oscan clark Alex Bell, Lindsay Sharp, Adele Tracy, our best 800-meter runners. Laura Muir looking to steal one of the spots, perhaps, at those championships by coming down to her secondary distance. A bit like the men, always interesting without a pacemaker, see what taxes would be. Born out, but I don't think they'll go as slow as the men did on the first lap. I'm not going to say who will lead, I'm just going to wait and see here, but I just suspect that um, Laura Muir will wait and see what happens, but surely. They're not going to just jog. Shalena just moving through. Adele coming across. Lindsay's there. Nobody seems that keen. Might be Adele. Nobody seems that keen yet. Adele did go out hard yesterday in the heats to ensure her chance of qualifying. She was in a tough heat against Shalena Oskin Clark and she decided to take it out quick. She went through then in about 27 at the 200 meter mark, which was a little bit too fast. It looks as though it, it's more sedate today, but she's quite happy getting at the front and making sure she's out of trouble and able to react as people will come by her or try and come by her. Laura Muir, very happy to let things settle down, and I thought she might just do a blast over the last 400 or the last 300, as we saw yesterday, and indeed, she's put herself in position to do that. Doesn't go past Adele Tracy, just sits on her shoulder, but expect her to explode down the back straight, I'm pretty sure. Lindsay Sharp ready to follow, Oscan Clark there. Adele Tracy in the front, Alex Bell a little boxed on the inside. But watch Laura Muir, there she goes, 300 to go, bang, and already opens up a gap, and this is really impressive. These are our best 800 meter runners and they're not living with the 1500 meter specialist stretching away down the back straight. She's got acceleration and she's got strength, loads of strength. Adele Tracy still going well in second place. Alex Bell moving into third behind her. But this is all about Laura Muir. Lindsay Sharp struggling as Shalane Oskan Clark moves up under her shoulder. Laura Muir having to fight a little bit now. The gap's not getting any bigger, but she will hold this to the finish. Alex Bell moving in, Lindsay Sharp finishing quickly, but Adele Tracy moving away. Oscan Clark finishing fast, all happening behind Laura Muir. She's going to win it. Who gets second? It's going to be tight on the line. Muir wins, Oscan Clark gets second. Well, 58-5 for the second lap. I'm not sure what Laura Muir ran for the last 100. It wasn't her quickest 100. The one from 300 to 100 to go was very impressive. And if anything, they were catching her down the home straight a little bit. But she'd done all the damage well before that, completely blew them away. But what a race for second spot. It was tight all the way to the line. It was. I mean, I don't think anybody in this stadium was really watching Laura Muir there. They were watching the race that was happening behind. But that was created by Laura Muir and what she did at 300 metres to go because that surge that she threw in there, I don't think the girls are used to seeing that in 800 metre races. In 1500 metre races, we might see that. But in 800 metres, they were caught napping. Alex Bell was too slow to react. Shalena was definitely too slow to react when Laura Muir made that move. Adele Tracy was in the right position to be able to try and cover it. And that really served to her good in the closing straight. Ran the back bend. The other girls were trying to work just to be able to get on level terms with Adele Tracy. And I think 
being in that position gave her a little bit of extra confidence, a little bit of extra belief in herself to be able to fight down that home straight. But she must have known that they were breathing down her neck. She must have been expecting Lindsay Sharp or Shalena to come past her. And it was very, very late in the race. She so very nearly hung on to that second place. But just with that last desperate lunge for the line, Shalena got it. OK. Uh we're going to speak to Laura in a second, I'm sure, but we'll watch this replay. What a conundrum. What a conundrum for the selectors. Laura Muir and Shalena Oscan clark qualify, of course, if they want to do it. We're assuming Laura does. Adele Tracy uh, was third. Alex Bell was fourth, very close between. Lindsay Sharp was fifth. And Lindsay Sharp, without the qualifying time, does that mean she's not going to be going to the European Championships? She may have something to say about that as well. Anyway, Laura Muir's won it. I think we should find out what her intentions are. She's with Jeanette. 